Alligator. Alligators are well known to anyone who has ever lived in or visited Florida. The American species is a cultural mainstay with all kinds of myths, legends, stories, and not less than a few news reports every year about the mayhem they can cause. The Chinese alligator is a bit smaller than the American one, but equally as aggressive. And both kinds of alligators are particularly well equipped for the ever-changing world. That's because they've seen it all before. Alligators, and crocodiles for that matter, are remarkably similar to ancient dinosaurs in so many ways that biologists sometimes consider them to be living fossils. They haven't changed a whole lot in a million years, and if given the opportunity, they may not change much more in the next few million. Their hardy ways center on a few fascinating traits. For one, alligators can go up to three years without ever eating a single bite of food. They are portrayed as hungry and aggressive predators, and they can certainly be that. But there is more to the story. They have an absurdly slow metabolism which keeps them able to stay full for months or years on end in the toughest prey scenarios. When food is scarce, they effectively go into hibernation and can wait out a long, long, dry spell. Should an apocalypse of some kind ever come, these gators can hang out for quite a while and wait while other populations replenish themselves. Alligators are also able to go for more than an hour without taking a breath. They can hang out underwater without breathing for over 60 minutes. That's about as long as the average seagoing whale, despite alligators having significantly smaller lungs. And their blood allows them to live through virtually anything, too. Alligators have a special type of hemoglobin in their blood, which conserves oxygen at a far greater rate than nearly any other animal. In adverse situations, alligators' bodies intuitively know how to conserve blood and what part of the body to send oxygenated blood when in need. That fact is so unique that scientists have been studying alligators' hemoglobin for medical use. The thought is that researchers might be able to create artificial human blood using those same molecular principles that could then be used by emergency room doctors for transfusions. Camel. The desert beasts don't live forever like a few other creatures outlined here, and they don't have crazy underwater adaptations or over-the-top temperature resistance to withstand a full-on apocalyptic event but camels are one of the most unbelievable mammals alive when it comes to surviving and thriving in the world's most extreme environments. For one, they can withstand massive temperature swings. Desert camels are okay in below freezing temperatures that can get down minus 17.8 degrees Celsius, and they will survive without any issues at all in soaring triple-digit heat. They can also go months without food, storing nutrients in their humps and slowing down their metabolism to conserve energy while waiting for their next real meal. That hump comes into play for storing moisture, too. As camels live in some of the driest spots on Earth, they take whatever water they can get and cling to it for dear life, literally. A camel can go up to seven months without ever taking a sip of water. Between retaining water for later use and naturally squeezing out every droplet from whatever little bits of food it can find, camels can wait out nearly any desert drought, and when they do get near vegetation, they will eat almost anything. Camels have large, thick lips that allow them to eat thorny, prickly plants unfit for any other animal to consume. As other desert creatures pass over the most dangerous plants, camels jump at the opportunity to dine. In that act, they feast on things no other competitor wants to eat. Camels have three stomachs buried deep down inside their bellies and they put them to very good use. Their efficient digestive tracts and ability to re-digest food multiple times through those stomachs allow them to squeeze out every last bit of moisture for survival. Then, when it comes out the other end, there simply isn't a drop of water left. Camel dung is so notoriously dry that Bedouin desert peoples regularly burn it for fire fuel. The sun isn't an issue for wild camels, either. For one, they instinctively turn and face the sun head-on throughout the day so their face takes the brunt of the rays and their bodies are turned sideways. They also have an intricate brain that naturally cools itself in the camel's skull. Thus, no hot temperatures will ever lead to heat stroke for these desert dwellers. Longhorn beetle. The longhorn beetle, sometimes known to scientists as the longicorn, lives across Southeast Asia and the tropical volcanic areas of the Pacific Rim. They enjoy being in those hot and humid environments, and they don't mind warm temperatures. Longhorn beetles like it really warm, far beyond what we could stand ourselves. During the summer, in some of these wet, warm, inland tropical areas, the temperature routinely gets into the triple digits. The ground temperatures where these longhorn beetles live can soar above 150 degrees Fahrenheit, or 65.6 .6 degrees Celsius, too, but it's no problem at all. The secret is in the beetle's intricate and complicated shells. The structures of their exoskeletons allow the beetle to reflect sunlight and funnel air. 
Super small patterns on the exoskeleton keep sunlight and heat from penetrating the shell. So no matter how hot it gets, these beetles never sweat it. And since they live in areas with active volcanoes, biologists have come to understand that these beetles aren't thrown by being close to incredibly hot lava bubbling up from the earth. The longhorn beetle is so tough on soaring temperatures that biologists are now trying to copy it. Recent research has moved to mimic the beetle's shell pattern with the hopes that it could prevent overheating in everything from human health, to building design, to many more man-made ideas and structures. Long-term scientists hope these beetles' fascinating shells could be the key to unlocking serious energy-saving techniques for the human world. Could their microscopic shell patterns be the crucial point that alters the pattern of climate change? Time will tell. But if it doesn't, and the world keeps heating up, these longhorn beetles are going to live right on through it as if nothing were the matter. Alaskan wood frog. It may be known as the Alaskan wood frog, but the tough little amphibians actually live across virtually all of North America. They have been spotted as far south as Alabama and across the entirety of the Midwest and Northeast. However, their name is listed for a reason. These frogs are right at home in the far reaches of the Alaskan wilderness. In fact, Alaskan wood frogs are the only amphibian species that live out their lives north of the Arctic Circle. They do that because, as you probably guessed, they can withstand being frozen alive for months on end. When it gets cold in the Arctic come wintertime, these frogs hunker down for the long haul ahead. More than two-thirds of their body goes into freeze mode and solidifies into an icy chunk. Their hearts stop beating and the frogs stop breathing for months. They aren't dead, though. They can actually survive like this for up to seven months at a time and in temperatures down to minus 17.8 degrees Celsius. When the weather starts to warm a bit, their bodies then thaw out and they slowly get back to life as they knew it before the dark season. These frogs are adaptable like this because their bodies contain several kinds of naturally occurring antifreeze. When winter comes, the frog's muscles channel glucose and a special carbohydrate compound called glycolipid. These substances pulse through the tiny tissues of their minuscule muscles and protect the frogs from the cold. So staying frozen solid for months on end poses no problem for these little guys. Should nuclear winter usher in an inconceivable, to us, weather pattern, these Alaskan wood frogs won't mind it one bit. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.